Hi everyone. My name is Aryan Singh and I welcome all of you to Machine Learning for Finance. Finance forms a very important part of our daily life. On day-to-day -day basis, we are faced with various financial challenges from investing in different stocks to maintaining a specific portfolio in different asset classes to predicting fraud in case of our business. So all these use cases in financial world combined with the game of the financial transactions flowing in and the increasing volume there is a need for something that can automate all of these use cases and that something which can do all of this at scale is machine learning or deep learning now let me introduce myself so my name is aryan and i am a data scientist at publicis sapient I have over 5 years of experience in delivering analytics solution to clients across BFSI, manufacturing and retail domain. I have extensive hands-on of machine learning and deep learning algorithms which comes through delivering various solutions to clients. Apart from that, I spend a lot of my leisure time working on NLP research and reading a lot of papers related to that. So in this course, I'll be taking you on a seven part journey we'll begin our journey by understanding the financial data and exploratory data analysis and we'll come to know how we can relate certain features with each other and what are the best features to build the model when we are building a machine learning solution after that the second pit stop would be linear model building and tuning for forex currencies in this section we'll learn about one of the most important asset classes which are forex currencies and we'll also learn how to build a linear regression model to predict the forex currencies having done the linear model till now we'll jump to non-linear models in machine learning world and we'll study in section 3 about tree based machine learning techniques for stock prediction here we'll not only stress on decision trees we'll also study about random forest the intuition behind them and the interpretability of these models after doing the conventional machine learning world we'll then jump on to artificial neural networks and deep learning basics and intuition in section 4 in this section we'll learn about what are the building blocks of a neural network and how the all these building blocks come together to create the magic that deep learning is now having gotten a grip on the theoretical part of deep learning In the next section which is section 5 we'll use all this knowledge and put it together to predict the stock price by using artificial neural networks after preparing and after predicting the stock prices in section 5 we'll now come to a more comprehensive part of the course which is modern portfolio theory and techniques for portfolio management in this section we'll study about efficient frontier sharp ratios and how do we hedge our risk and return in order to build a optimum stock portfolio that can help us reach our financial goals after this in the very last section we'll be stressing on a very important use case which is predicting fraud in financial transactions by using ann classification and through this journey will not only explore the financial world but will also get a sound theoretical knowledge of machine learning and deep learning techniques so what are some of the goals we are looking to achieve out of the course we'll learn how financial markets work by in-depth coverage of forex exchanges stock markets and financial portfolios we'll learn how to perform exploratory data analysis on financial data as well as do the feature engineering to gain interesting insights and get the best possible features also we'll learn to build optimized machine learning models in linear regression decision tree random forest and artificial neural networks to predict stock prices and forex rates and then on we'll use modern portfolio theory sharp ratio and investment simulation as well as other machine learning techniques to create a rewarding portfolio of stock investments At the very end we'll learn to detect fraud in financial transactions by uncovering fraudulent patterns using deep learning. So what are some of the prerequisites for the course? One of the main prerequisite 
is the basics of python programming wherein if you know about decision making statements like if else and looping statements like for while it would be a great skill to have and it will help you to carry on with the course smoothly also basics of statistics like mean median mode standard deviation and correlation will be helpful on the technical stuff we will need python 3 and jupyter notebook installed in your laptop and most importantly passion to learn something new so having said all of this now we are ready to jump into the financial world and explore the potential of machine learning in all these use cases i can't wait to get started and i hope it's same for you